You're watching The Rita Panny Show and now it's time for Lefties Losing It. Let's start, Lefties, with this almighty group meltdown on CNN because Nancy Mace allegedly mispronounced Queen Kamala's name. Watch this demented carry-on. Name and right. Kamala Harris, if Kamala, I want Kamala, Kamala. You said I don't call you Nancy Mace. It's Come on, Kamala. It's Kamala. You're doing this on purpose, Congress. That's not. disrespectful. Just a second. If, you if, can't expect people to respect your service if you don't respect her. If a man put on a shirt and walked that stage 25 years ago, she would have said it here. She would have taken that achievement away from women. That's disgusting. Let me get in here because I want to... Did you hear that? He said, you're a white woman disrespecting a black woman. Uh, why? By calling her the name everyone has called her for years, decades. How long was she in public life before we were told that her name should be pronounced differently? And can someone alert the president? Because he's still pr pronouncing it this way. And Kamala are here today to make a major announcement on the reference to lower. But back to the mass meltdown on CNN. Look at the reprehensible way they treat a lone conservative woman, a woman who carries the trauma of being a rape victim and who showed far more grace than I'd be capable of facing this barrage of lunacy. When you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that said that you weren't BS. a racist. That is complete no, You BS. don't have to intend racism no, to No, no, no. You are it. intending that I am Your disrespect racist, of Kamala Harris and that is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? It's why can't you offensive just, Congresswoman. And it's, why can't you it's just, offensive. Why can't you just, that is disgusting. I'm not calling you a racist. I'm saying what the practice is racist. You are. You are. Why can't you just say the practice is no, what's disgusting is, is your disgusting. disrespect of her. Professor, this, she doesn't know what a woman is, and if, if 25 years ago... White I women became... don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago... They your baby. 25... Just a hysteria and hyperbole there. There's much more of that lefty losing it madness, but I won't subject you to it because this next bit is even better. Remember Don Lemon before our CNN sacked him? He's back doing Vox Pops and being laughed at by the good folk in Jersey and Atlantic City. First, he tries to shame Trump backers by suggesting they're sexist. Who do you support? Trump. I, I plead the fifth. Trump for the win. Tell me why. I can't really call that right now, but I just feel like she's not good for president. She's good vice, but not for the actual lead role for the country. Does it have anything to do with being a woman? No. Mm -mm. No, because I feel like women, mm, nah, you're not going to give me that. Your money's on Harris. Yeah. Who do you want? Trump. Why don't you like Harris? Oh, she doesn't have any experience. Uh, she's she the vice president. Five. She's a she, senator. Yeah, no, no experience. No, no, no. It doesn't get any better when uh, Don talks to women. Well, I want Donald Trump. I just feel we need somebody that has a stronger background with the military and the world in general. She was a prosecutor and an attorney general and a senator and a vice president. Is it there to learn what voters think or to lecture them about why Harris is better? This next interaction is frankly Bonkers. Four years ago, it was a lot better. I made a lot more money than I do now. I know you feel that way, mm -hmm. but that's not actually what the record shows. The economy is actually better under Biden. <laughs> no, I'm serious. What, what, that's what, what the facts show. Okay, you know what? No, though? no. Imagine telling a grown man he's wrong about being better off four years ago because uh, Don's figures say so. No wonder they laughed in his face. That sort of form will see Don Lemon elevated to the Lefty Losing It Hall of Fame. And here's one last clip from his time in New Jersey. Trump or Harris? Trump. That's who's going to win. That's who's going to win. Who you support? I support Trump. All the people that came to this country legally, it's not fair that they're letting all 10,000 to 15,000 people or 20,000 people here illegally. Did you did you know Biden was flying them in? Did you know Biden was flying them in? I got to get out of Atlantic City. Where are we going to next? Now, watch this totally authentic interaction between Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. They won't do any interviews, but they will provide content like this. Here, Tim worries that he's a white guy tacos his words, not mine. He worries that his white guy tacos won't be spicy enough for Kamala. 
like I have white guy tacos and what like that black mean? like mayonnaise and tuna. What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. That's and okay. The, Do yeah. you put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota. You know. I'm the first vice president, I believe, who has ever grown chili peppers. I'm you trying to expand my we'll uh, my food knowledge. Oh. Oh dear. Now here is the real Kamala in the days before every word was carefully scripted. Now I've heard her say some crazy things, but surely she would never snatch a patent? I will snatch their patent so that we will take over. And yes, we can do that. Yes, yes, we can do that. Yes, we can do that. It's what it's the question is, do you have the will to do it? I have the will to do it. She's got the will, people. Watch out. How very communist of her. Now, back to CNN. And, yes, they are among the Democrats' most enthusiastic propaganda outlets. Here they are telling the American people to forget about the high prices, the illegal immigration crisis, uh, crime. Just feel the joy. There's so much joy. Brian, go ahead. I think Trump world is jealous of the joy right now. There's so much yes. anger coming from Trump's speeches. Joy is real and it's important. People can make fun of it and say focus yes. on the policy. But if you ask political scientists and psychology professors, they'll tell you the emotions matter in politics. Yes. Sometimes they matter a lot more than the policies. And that's, I think, the big story this week. Yes, Brian. If you ask political scientists and psychology professors, they'll tell you emotions matter. The Nazis knew that too. They love the joy message. Uh, theirs was strength through joy. And their propaganda arms were just as enthusiastic about gaslighting the nation. And talking about gaslighting the nation, here is our own national broadcaster, the taxpayer-funded outlet that receives more than a billion dollars of Australian taxpayer money every single year. And just watch and marvel at this completely fair, balanced and not at all hysterical rant from one of the ABC's highest paid journalists. But Donald Trump poisoned American politics in a new way. He's clearly taken America to a dark place. Do you also hold him responsible for the dark place that he took your family to um, with the terrible attack on your husband in your home? Yep, that was Sarah Ferguson last week interviewing former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. The Trump derangement syndrome remains off the charts of the ABC and Ferguson and her overpaid underwork team seem to have learnt nothing from their previous failures. Remember the three-part series we were treated to on the Trump-Russian collusion hoax? Yeah, they've learnt nothing.